ADRI employs a range of molecular biology techniques which aim to provide a better understanding of cellular mechanisms that mediate asbestos-related disease. Five molecular biology techniques that are routinely conducted in the laboratory at ADRI include cell culture, drug treatments, western blotting, PCR and video microscopy. ADRI's primary goal is to improve the diagnosis and treatment of asbestos-related diseases as a response to the increasing incidence in patients who are diagnosed each year. The ADRI Biobank is one of our most valuable assets and provides investigators and collaborators with biospecimens and accompanying clinical data for research projects that will lead to a better understanding of asbestos-related disease. The overall purpose of this biobank is the procurement of high quality samples and the collection of accurate, reliable and standardised clinical data which are crucial to the success of the translational research being conducted at ADRI. Specifically, the biobank consists of frozen tumour tissue, DNA and RNA samples obtained from mesothelioma patients as well as specimens collected from healthy, normal controls. Combined with ADRI's extensive collection of mesothelioma cancer cell lines, these biospecimens serve as a valuable source material for studying cellular mechanisms that mediate the development and progression of asbestos-related disease. This in turn enables us to identify biomarkers such as oncogenes and proteins that may serve as potential targets for drug-based therapies. Additionally, ADRI is equipped with modern research facilities and resources for the purpose of performing a wide range of molecular biology techniques in order to process and analyse the biobank specimens. These include biosafety cabinets for carrying out cell culture and drug treatment experiments, western blot equipment to measure protein expression, thermal cyclers for carrying out gene expression experiments, and video microscopy for visualising cellular processes in real time. Cell culture is the process by which human-derived cells are grown in the lab under controlled conditions outside of their natural environment. At ADRI, a range of asbestos-related cancer cell lines are routinely cultured. These cell lines serve as a useful tool for downstream laboratory applications aimed to elucidate the cellular mechanisms that mediate asbestos-related disease progression. Cells are maintained in special incubators and specialised growth media containing the necessary supplements that mimic the internal conditions of the human body. The current drug-based therapies for asbestos-related cancers are suboptimal and drug resistance and toxicity issues limit their clinical efficacy. Therefore, there is a need to develop and test novel drugs in a laboratory setting before they can undergo clinical trials. Cell culture provides a cost-effective tool to study drug responses which are routinely carried out at ADRI. The aim is to elicit a cellular response that will enable us to predict their therapeutic potential for the treatment of asbestos-related cancers. The Western blot is a lab-based tool commonly employed to visualise and quantify protein expression. ADRI employs the Western blot technique to study proteins that may be up or down regulated in cellular pathways that mediate the growth of asbestos related cancers. The PCR technique is widely used in molecular biology research to make many copies of a specific DNA segment. Copies of DNA sequences are exponentially amplified to generate thousands to millions of copies of that particular DNA segment. ADRI utilises quantitative PCR, otherwise known as qPCR, to study gene expression, copy number variation, mutation and other biomarker alterations in asbestos-related cancers. This allows us to identify genes, such as cancer-causing genes, that drive tumour development and progression. Ultimately, this provides potential targets for drug-based therapies that are capable of switching these genes off. A high quality video camera attached to a light microscope is routinely employed in research to carry out real time or high speed imaging of cells. ADRI utilises video microscopy to analyse asbestos induced cancer cell growth, 
and intracellular events. This includes real-time imaging of cancer cell proliferation, trafficking of biomolecules, and pathways involved in intracellular chemotherapy drug uptake and transport. The experimental techniques conducted at ADRI produce high-quality data that can be translated to clinical trials for the implementation of improved diagnostic and treatment strategies to combat asbestos-related disease.